Well, if you've seen one episode of Dateline, you know every investigation starts with an end. Now the fan favorite true crime team is digging even deeper into victims' final moments on their new series, Dateline The Last Day. Take a look. Went out for a jog and never came home. How critical is a victim's last day? As you piece that together, what were you able to find out about Cassie's life? So you saw her leave the house. Wow, and we have Andrea Cannon, Keith Morrison, and Stephanie Gosk with us now. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice so good to be here. here. I'm so glad that you're here. Listen, I, in my house, Dateline is on like 24 hours a day. So, I, you know, <laughs> none of us can get enough Dateline. So, Andrea, set this up for us. Um, what makes this different than a classic Dateline? It's it's really told through a different lens. You know, we we I think so often about the victims and how they just wake up. You know, and it, it's just an, a normal, normal day, day yeah. and, but it would be their last day. And how does that last day fit into the investigation, fit into the murder? You know, what happened in those critical hours that led to this horrible conclusion yeah. for this person? And in one of my stories that I'm doing, uh, you know, she had an ultrasound, uh, you know, that day. And it was it was the happiest day of her life. And then oh. it turned into the worst. Mm. So, yeah. you know, it's just really like doing the TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Keith, tell us uh, some of the things you're going to be tackling in this series. Well, they're all about TikTok. They're, they're all, all about, about that, TikTok. That, that last day. And, and they're um, a wide variety of, of stories that, that deal with all kinds of things, from yeah. the kind of story that Andrea's talking about to a, a case where recently there have been a lot of concern about young men and the sort of damage that they can do, that, that we none of us can understand why they do it. Yeah. One of the stories will tell us about that. Mm -hmm. And the TikTok of that last day allows you to kind of live in the mindset of this person yeah. and then you know interviews later can kind of flesh it out it's it's fascinating you know the story that i worked on um the 911 call came in that a woman had taken her own life and and you know when you're an investigator looking at that what does happen to a person? Where did she go? Who did she talk to? What yeah. happened to her mm -hmm. that day? And how does that inform, well, you know, in this case, whether they even need to have an investigation, right? Because yeah. Yeah. It, it, she took her own life. Right. Maybe you don't need an investigation, but that, those steps are so important. Why do you think, what is the advantage, you think, about really focusing in on those final hours instead of kind of taking it back further? Well, I think there there are multiple advantages. Uh, one, it 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 starts at the at the ground level for an investigation, right? Yeah. And this is the, such a fascinating part of telling these stories. Where do they, where do they start? Yeah. Um, and and it allows you to explore that and give time to those critical moments. Yeah. There's yeah. so many clues. Yeah. In sure. that that last day, those last hours. That's where you're going to find, you know. The most All important the information yeah. a lot of times. In yeah. addition to revelations about the victims and about perpetrators that you otherwise wouldn't know if you didn't focus in on that last day and what they were doing at a particular time and why they might be doing that thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, one of the stories um, tracks a woman's location and her runs from her Fitbit. Mm -hmm. Do you think reporting these stories has changed the way that you live at all? Like, do you always have your location on or, you know, things like that? You think about yeah. those things well, ahead of time? I do have my location on, but I also have done the opposite. It, where I've like uh, fixed my texts so they like they delete immediately and they they don't go to the cloud because I've like done too many datelines yeah, yeah. you know where not that I'm writing horrible things right, like but, but I'm just like in case. Mind, just in case you know yeah. what I mean it's like why not so yeah I disabled my like cloud thing I just they just Oh, for me? Gone. You will know my heart, right? You yeah. will know every step that I took, every place I visited, yeah. every dollar I spent. I am I'm on the map. You're on the map. I'm yes. on the map. We yeah. can track you. <laughs> That's right. My technical ignorance will protect me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it also feels like a bit of a psychology lesson Oh, at yeah. Times. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Do you think that you guys have gotten better at reading people, or maybe you're in an everyday situation, you say, I think there's more to this story? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There is one guy... Um, I interviewed it was a home invasion he was the victim and I uh, you know he was going through the harrowing experience and I walked out and I said something he I think he arranged this home invasion yeah. something's up two weeks later he was arrested mm -hmm. wow so it's like you get this kind of sixth sense did, with people yeah. I think you get a sense but they always people surprise me all the time yeah um, you know and, and, and 
God love them. People are wonderful liars, and they don't often know they are lying. That's the line of the year. But, but detecting what's a lie and what isn't a lie can be a little more complicated. Yeah, right? yeah, they lie with such ease. Right, and that's a scary thing. And human beings behave with a kind of depravity that continues yeah. to yeah. surprise sure. even people who have yeah. made careers. No, I, I yeah. just interviewed a guy who killed his own daughter, and I, uh, I gave him every opportunity. I was like, do you want to confess? Like. He, I was so fired up yeah. because it was just lie after lie after oh lie. Oh my God, it makes and he, you so angry. It, you know, you can't help but get personally involved. Sometimes you're not, you know, we're journalists, but it's he was really hard. making me mad, this yeah. guy. <laughs> well, I wish, I mean, if you guys had all day and I had all day to do this, I would sit and pick your brains. Um, but we ran out of time. And well, I want you to come back and talk about the podcast. Oh, but you sure. Seduction. Catch, the, yeah. the seduction. Oh, it's a good one. Oh. oh. <laughs> and you can catch Dateline the last day streaming on Peacock now. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to be here.